Good evening. I'm the Reverend William Stanton, or Father Bill, from St. Albans Episcopal Church in Windsor, Colorado, coming to you from my deck office here in Greeley, from my home. <clears throat> and we are rounding out our journey through the Psalms, the Psalms, Psalms of David, also known as the Psalter. We are working on our 29th day evening prayer psalms. And as I've said several times before, in our Book of Common Prayer in the Episcopal Church, the psalms are divided up so that they can be read um, every day, morning and evening, for an entire month. And so this last month of June, we have been working out reading the psalms, sometimes catching up a day later if something happens. Uh, but we work through the Psalms, and so tomorrow, the 30th day of June, will be our last day through the Psalms. We'll complete the entire book, 150 Psalms in 30 days. I hope you've enjoyed this um, series. It has definitely opened my eyes to the beauty of the Psalms and how they speak to each and every one of us. Um, speak deep to our hearts and to our soul. We're beginning our psalms this evening with Psalm 141, and it's found on page 797 of the Book of Common Prayer. <clears throat> we'll be doing Psalms 141, 142, 143, and then we'll end our psalms tomorrow, beginning with Psalm 144. But now let's just quiet our hearts and open our minds. Actually, let's quiet our minds and open our hearts so that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hear God's word as it speaks to us through the Psalms. Psalm 141. O Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer be set in your let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting, up of a, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and a guard. Let me start this one over. Psalm 141. O Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers, nor eat of their choice foods. Let the righteous smite me in friendly rebuke. Let not the oil of the unrighteous anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. Let the rulers be overthrown in stony places, that they may know my, that my words are true. As when a plowman turns over the earth and furrows, let their bones be scattered at the mouth of the grave. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Do not strip me of my life. Protect me from the snare which they have laid for me and from the traps of the evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, while I myself escape. Psalm 142. I cry to the Lord with my voice. To the Lord I make loud supplication. I pour out my complaint before him and tell him all my trouble. When my spirit languishes within me, you know my path. In the way wherein I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to my right hand and find no one who knows me. I have no place to flee to, and no one cares for me. I cry out to you, O Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry for help, for I have been brought very low. Save me from those who pursue me, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. When you have dealt bountifully with me, the righteous will gather around me. Psalm 143. 
Lord, hear my prayer. And in your faithfulness, heed my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no shall no one living be justified. For my enemy has sought my life, but he has crushed me to the ground. He has made me live in dark places like those who are long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul gasps to you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for I put my trust in you. Show me the road that I must walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. Of your goodness, destroy my enemies, and bring all my foes to naught. For truly, I am your servant. Beloved, that is our psalms for this 29th day of June evening prayer. Tomorrow we complete our journey. And so this night, may God bless you and keep you. May God set his angels charge over you and grant you a peaceful peace. And grant you a peaceful night. Amen.